Okay, so you remember we've got this uh, journey on the mini tube. It's a random journey, and uh, at each station we decide with it random which train line out of that station we're going to take, with each train line having equal probability. Okay, and you remember the two questions I've asked you. If we start at Oxford Circus, question one, what's the probability of getting to Bond Street, our target domain perhaps, uh, before Green Park? If we reach Green Park, we stop our journey, but we won't have gotten to Bond Street. Okay. Similarly, if we start at Piccadilly Circus, look, what's the probability of getting to Bond Street before Green Park? Now, because Bond Street is in a sense our target, we want to get there, we want to know what the probability of getting there is, we call this, we call the probabilities we're looking for in questions one and two, uh, hitting probabilities, okay? Because we, it's the probability of hitting Bond Street starting from any of the initial states, okay? And you remember also I asked you a question three, which was what's the probability that if we start at our target, Bond, Bond Street, and go on a journey, that we actually end up at Green Park and stop before we get back to Bond Street, okay? Now, because in a sense you start at your target and you're asking about the probability of not getting back to it because you end up at Green Park instead, we call these uh, escape probabilities. So question three is asking for what we call an escape uh, probability. So we've got hitting probabilities and escape probabilities. Okay, so those are the two things uh, we're trying to do. Well, I'm not quite sure how to answer those questions. Uh, so you know what I'm going to do? If you, if uh, as a researcher, if I if I'm supposed to solve a problem and I don't really know what to do, I try to I do something I can do to get some insights to work my way forward. And what I could do here is a simulation, couldn't I? And that's what I'm going to do here. So uh, you know what I'm going to do? Let me draw my little graph again here. So we've got these, uh, he's got these stations like this, look, uh, like this. And all the only reason I'm drawing this is so that I can label my nodes instead of calling them the names. Let's make it easier and call this one, uh, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so it's just exactly the same. No, so let's just make it clear. Our target then is number one, okay? We, the, the Bond Street is number one and Green Park is number two. And then we can either start at nodes three or four to find the hitting probabilities, okay? Okay, so let's just remember that. Bond Street's number one uh, and Green Park is number two, but we can start either at uh, Piccadilly Circus. The circuses are three and four, okay? Well, I'm just gonna pull up MATLAB here because um, what I've done in this, uh, as you can see here, is I've written a little code. It's short. Anybody could do this. Uh, I use MATLAB just because it's a, a nice language, easy to read. In this case, I've written it quite uh, transparently, I hope. Look what I'm doing. I'm going to do n is 10,000 here. So I'm going to do 10,000 journeys. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at either Oxford Circus or Piccadilly Circus, nodes three or nodes four. And I'm going to go on my random journey, and then I'm going of those ten thousand journeys. I'm going to count up how many of them end up at Bond Street, and then I'm going to divide that hit rate by the ten thousand journeys, and that should give me a good estimate of the probability, right? Because if I do it ten thousand times and I end up, you know, there are a certain number of times that that number of successful uh, journeys in a random simulation divided by the number of journeys I tried out is going to be a good estimate of my probability. Okay, so let's just go through my code here. Look, I've, I've set a hit flag to be zero to start off with, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop with k is one to n. I'm going to loop through my journeys. At the beginning of each journey, I set my flag to be one. I've got a flag, okay? So hit is my counter, if you like, counter of the times I end up in these journeys at Bond Street. Okay, my flag is, if it's one, it means keep going. If it's zero, it means stop the journey because I've either ended up at Bond Street or Green Park, notes one or two. And because I don't know how many kind of legs of the journey I'm going to have, I've got to use a while loop. 
Okay, it seems the easiest thing to do. So while my flag is one, my flag means if it's one, keep going. While my flag is one, here's what I do. It means I need to make my next leg of the journey. And so what I have to do is I have to go through my graph and see, uh, see, see how to make my next journey. So if, it, if I'm in state one, don't forget, that's Bond Street. That means I set my flag to zero and then I add one to the hit because I've, I've hit, okay? So I stop my journey and add one to the hit. That's easy. If, however, I'm in state is equal to two, which means I'm at Green Park, I set my flag is equal to one and I stop. But I don't add to the hit rate because I'm not interested in whether I hit Green Park. I'm interested in how many times do I hit Bond Street. Now, if state is three, state is, you know, which station I'm at, Three, I think, was Piccadilly Circus, and there were two lines out of Piccadilly Circus. So what I have to do is toss a coin. Heads or tails, I either go up to Oxford Circus to node four or to node two. Okay, so what I'm doing in the code there is I'm just tossing a coin. I, I'm picking a random number between one and two. So it's either heads or tails. If it's heads, I go one way. If it's tails, I go the other. If, however, I'm at Oxford Circus, that's state four. That's my final if. Uh, uh, if loop here, uh, then I toss a three-sided coin. So I, I pick a number between one and three at random, and then I go along either of the states, uh, either of the edges to get to the next state. And then of course, um, then of course I'll, I'll start the while loop again, okay? So if I'm in state three or state four, I change my state, and then I go back to the beginning of the while loop and I test what to do. And of course, if I end up, uh, if, I, if my state after this first loop through the while loop is in three or four, I'm still going to do another, another leg of the journey, okay? Because I don't set my flag to zero. Okay, you see how easy that is? Well, uh, let's just see what happens, okay? Well, first of all, by the way, you'll see it's state. I have to initialize this at the beginning of every journey. So, and that's in the for loop because I want every journey to be, um, to be uh, starting at the same place. And state is three means I'm starting this at Piccadilly Circus. So this is the answer. This should give me the answer to question two. Okay, so you can see, look, look what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pull up the command window now so you can see it. Um, and this code that I've just went, been through with you is called hitting simulation. So let me just run it. It's going to do 10,000 journeys and it will spit out hit divided by N. And here's the first answer. 0.1962. Let's just do it again. 0.2027. Let's do it again. 0.2016. And again. 0.2027. And one more time. 0.2. It looks to me, all of those numbers are very, very close to 0.2. And remember, we, this is just an estimate of what we're looking for. So it looks like the probability that I'm looking for uh, starting at Piccadilly Circus is 0.2. Well, let's just go up to my code here and I'm going to change my state initially to four, which means I'm going to be initially at Oxford Circus and I'm going to run this simulation again. Okay, so now I'm doing 10,000 journeys starting at Oxford Circus. Here's the output of the first simulation. 0.4036. Let's do another one. 0.4085. 0.3955. 0.4050. Do a couple more, 0.3933, 0.4054. Those, all, those, all of those five numbers look very close. And by the way, that's basically 50,000 50, simulations I just did. Um, this number looks very close to 0.4, okay? So uh, if I start at Oxford Circus, it looks like my probability of hitting Bond Street is 0.4. If I start at Piccadilly Circus, it looks like 0.2. Well, those look like the answers, the numerical answers at least. My estimates to, I've got answers, I don't know why they're those numbers. By the way, uh, let me just show you this other code now. There's another code called Escape Simulation, and I'm not going to go through this. Uh, it's very similar to the other code, except now I'm going to try to simulate the escape probability. That's why they call it Escape Simulation. And I'm not going to go through the code, just go through and see what uh, changes I've made. You should be able to work them out. 
to instead work out what this escape probability is. So I'm now starting at Bond Street and I'm going to do, uh, it looks like I'm doing 5,000 journeys in this code and we're going to see what happens. So let me just type in uh, escape probability, escape simulation, which is the name of this uh, M file, and run it. And I'm getting 0 0.8054 for the first simulation, 0 0.7988, 0 0.8024 again. Running another 5,000, I'm getting 0 0.8072, and 0 0.7924, 0 0.8046. It looks like the answer to question three is 0.8 approximately. So a good approximation, it looks like all of these numbers are trying to tell me it's 0.8. Okay, interesting. So I've got the answers to all three questions at least numerically using these simulations. We're gonna to have to give this uh, a little bit more thought.